It's another Sunday here at Lynn Brizzy Page Builder. Good, good, welcome. I am JP, and in this off the cuff, I just want to have a quick look at a few of the options that are currently in the Brizzy, well, Brizzy Pro, I guess, in the Brizzy Pro, mostly Pro, but there are in a few of these in the free version as well. But um, for these ones that are included in the current beta, and this is then not available for you to test unless you are a beta tester. And I guess to be a beta tester, you will have to be a license holder of Brizzy Pro because, well, I think about 95% of the new stuff is all in Brizzy Pro. I'm going to show you just five. I'm not going to go through all of them. Maybe later in the week cover another few, but just a few that you may have seen already or those that you haven't heard of and ones that are interesting. So uh, if you are a Brizzy Pro beta tester, you would have gotten an email to prompt you to get both the free and pro betas and you have to download both. And as usual, please make sure you do not install it on your $100,000 per month generating e-commerce website, but on just a test site. That is what beta testing is all about. Okay, so let's go into the back end and I just quickly show you here in the plugins that I have those two installed. And we have Briz here, you'll see 1.0.115 and then the Pro over here, 0 0.0.35. And the first feature I want to focus on, and I think this one is also available in the free version, it's going to be one that's going to make a lot of people very, very happy. And if you go, you're in the sidebar in, what is this, WordPress sidebar, and you go and hover over Brizzy, go to settings, and then over settings, you will see over here it's now maintenance mode. And I think they've changed it. Yes. Ah, very nice. This used to be role manager, and I had just mentioned, I, I believe it was my influence. I, I had mentioned this is probably settings because uh, in the previous release, we added the enable SVG uploads, and then now over here, maintenance mode, baby. So if you click on maintenance mode, it will give you this option to choose disabled, which it currently is, or coming soon or maintenance. So what does this mean? Let's click on coming soon and show you what's going to happen. Who can access your page or your website? Those who are logged in, of course. Choose a page and then whitelisted IP addresses. Well, those uh, are things that if you know what it is, you'll be very interested to use it. If you don't know what it is, you don't care about it. What you will need to do, and the coming soon page is if you are still constructing your site, you don't want people to access it, then you are going to present this coming soon page. To do that, you will first have to go and create a page that will serve as your coming soon page. So let's forget all of this, Nigel, for the moment and go create a new page. Go to pages and I'm just going to click here on add new. I didn't save the changes. When we come back, I want to see if it had saved that. And we're going to call this page aptly coming soon. Well, I'm just bursting with creativity today, right? And that's it. No, it's not it. I'm going to say edit with Brizzy because that's what we want to do. We want to use the Brizzy Builder for this. And while it is loading, I would probably guess this is only for WordPress at this moment, this coming soon. But it's a feature that I definitely think will be in Brizzy Cloud. It makes sense also to be in Brizzy Cloud, but it's just going to be total different coding. This is going to use some WordPress mumbo jumbo, while as Brizzy Cloud will use nothing with that. But for now, at this moment, I can safely say this is in WordPress. Why? Because I'm working in WordPress, right? So let's just build something here and I'm just going to bring in a block, add a blank block and let's, what shall we do? Let me see. Uh, let's bring in the image that I've uploaded here, coming soon. And then what I'll do is I'll go to our settings and let's make this full height. Okay, yeah. Ooh, looks so good, JP. You should get a raise. Thank you, thank you. Right, update that. And then we're done with this page. So let's go and see if this works. And remember off the cuff means I've probably not tested any of this and not probably, mostly. And we go back to the admin sidebar over here, settings, and then maintenance mode. Yep, it didn't save it. So we say coming soon. And then I'm going to go to choose a page. And now you will see over here, coming soon appears here. Click that and say save changes. Now my website, and you see up here in the toolbar appears maintenance mode on. While you are working, you're not going to see the maintenance mode. So if I go to the front end, I'm going to still see my site because I am logged in. There you go. My site is still working perfectly. Let's just grab the site's URL. 
Control C, Command C, and we go into incognito mode and paste this. And now let's see if that maintenance mode is truly activated. <gasps> We are not disappointed, right? So this is what visitors to your site will see now. So you can decide whether you want to put that. Let's just hop back there into the back end. Mm, Prezi settings. You can decide then if you want to use it as a coming soon page. Come um, as the maintenance mode. Uh, coming soon or if you want to put it on maintenance mode. You have those options and then you can also here set your access to which logging you can say custom and then you will see your role editor appear over here and if you have custom roles or you have a store with woocommerce those roles will be added over here as well well let's disable it that's feature number one maintenance mode and i think you know this is one of those things that you're very custom to that you just use a plugin i always use a plugin now i don't need to use a plugin of course uh, this is a very, very great feature. Let's go into our pages and I grab my home page, edit with Brizzy, and let's have a look at feature number two, which is all about the more options sidebar. So if I go down here and I click on this text over here and settings, and I see there's an align button over here. I've tried to figure out what this one does. I think maybe this is one that I'll, I'll have to report to the team. I think it's this alignment over here, but I'm not sure. Not sure about that. Okay, so normally settings over here, and then you have more settings here. And as you are very well aware of, this more settings panel can create in certain conditions a problem. And not in this case, because as you can see, I don't have content that stretches all the way to the side of the page. But if we go over here, let's go to this one, this block, and let's create, or let's make it rather, a full width block. Now, if I access over here and I go to my settings, more settings, you see this is what happens here. So this is something that if you work a lot with full width, you have run into it. Or if you had a container that you had to access the options, it could quite be annoying. You know that feeling. And now you can, first of all, switch this sidebar for the more options. So up here, you will see two icons appear here. The first one is the switcher. So it's currently docked to the right or well, stack to the right and now we put it on the left and this will give you the real estate on this side to work with now i've seen a lot of people say things like hey just make it transparent do this and do that well yeah sure there are many other great options but this is currently i think very good i'm very happy with it as long as i can access it i'm a happy clappy all right let's put it back on the right the other thing is that if i were to select this button now you will see it disappears i have to go to settings again and then I have to access everything again. Oh, it went automatically. Okay, there's been made some changes. Let's say I go down here, go to settings again, more settings. I have to go through this procedure every time, right? So how can I make this much easier? And that is where we can, what can you say, lock it, right? So lock. So let's go to this text over here, settings, more settings. And then over here, the second icon is the lock icon. Now, the problem is, if I click on it, can you see it's locked? It's not that clear, but it is locked. What it means is this sidebar will not go away now. So if I am changing something like the Z index, I want to play around with a number of images. I remember there were one here with images. Yes. Let's say I was playing around with these and they, they were overlapping all kinds of fancy stuff. Then you can come here and then you just click on the next one and it will lock that and it will remain sticky. Basically, if you were working here with your uh, advanced, click on this one, click on this one, you see, remains sticky. Now you can just go around. Great feature with this sidebar. I, I think a nice one would be if this can turn blue when it is locked, you know, like we have this blue, it will show that it's locked. Let me unlock that. Great. That is feature number two. Let's have a look at something else than one of the new elements. And if you are using Brizzy Pro, you will realize that the elements have gotten quite more. It used to stop here at carousel. Now, rating comments, and it includes both from WordPress comments and discuss, playlist, search, timeline, and switcher. But these are just the new ones. 
a bunch of these old folk up here have gotten a new life with major upgrades to them. And we'll look at the audio one in this one. I'll cover maybe some of them again in another video. Before we do that, I just want to say, typically what happens as things grow, you can see that this sidebar with all the elements starting to get a little bit crowded. Now, I'm a big fan of cleaning up. So if you don't know or if you have forgotten about this feature, just remember, click here on edit and you can choose here what to display and what not to display. So if you're definitely not going to use a map or you don't use a counter or a countdown, you just click on them and say done. Just remember, don't do what I do, do what I say. And that is that if you come back in three months time and you're like, oh, what happened to my elements? And you shoot off a ticket there to Brizzy complaining that all your elements don't appear. It may be that you had deselected them like I had done here. Okay, so let's talk about the audio element. Now, audio element was there before it was called SoundCloud. So it's been rebranded and facelifted. So if I bring it in, now you say, oh, come on, same old, same old. It's still SoundCloud. But let's go up here and click on our toolbar. And you will see up here, you have the option now to put it on SoundCloud or custom. Now this, I can tell you in the free version, it will only give you SoundCloud. It will not give you custom. I checked it. That is how it currently is. So if you go to custom, you can now click here on file and you can upload your podcast here or other kind of audio that you were into. And then you have the control over how it will display here. So you have your controls, you can drag it and you've got full control over things like your, what do we have here, Roboto. Let's put it on Roboto, we can make it a little bit larger. And then colors, you see here quite a number. So your icons, Let's, I like to start with the background. Let's say we take the background, make it transparent, and then our slider, let's put that on the blue. And you have border and shadow. I don't think that's important. An icon, icon yellow, yeah. let's make that a little bit gray, something like that. And then there's hover. The hover a little bit weird. I, I'm not so sure if the hover is useful, but it could be maybe if you want some of these functions when you hover over it it can display. So the audio element, or rather the SoundCloud element has had a makeover and changed its name to audio with a new face and a new Instagram account. And just with that, why I didn't see Twitter? Oh yes, now you see Facebook over here, one element and Twitter. Mm, mm, we'll have to dig into that in another video. So we looked at the maintenance mode, then at the new sidebar docking options and locking options. And then this audio element. Now, the number four on my list is the toolbar. Now, the toolbar or the options toolbar, you know in Brizzy, whenever you click on an element, this toolbar pops up. What used to happen is that if you take this element all the way to the top of the page and you clicked on it and you clicked here on your typography, this splash screen would cover everything here. It always went to the top. Now it is intelligent, meaning that it looks at what you're working at, it looks at your available space, and it will either place this at the top or at the bottom. So if I go down here to the bottom and I click on this image, image, you'll see it pops to the top. But if I take it to the top and I click on it again, now you see it's here at the bottom. This is absolutely one life improvement that I'm extremely happy about because I think one of those things, the moment you start working, especially with building out a custom header, it's one of the first things that you run into. You cannot see your fonts. You cannot see the size of it. And you have to click out, click back, click out, click back. Major time saver. So that's our number fourth feature in this off the cuff. The last one is another element. Let's have a look at this one. And this is probably be going to be one of those that you're going to bring into a header. So I'm just going to bring in another header over here. Let's go to header, literally a header. And okay, so they haven't done one yet. Let's just grab this simple one over here. Okay, select the menu. There should be a menu. Let's see, select the menu, yeah, primary menu. Okay. And then you want to add a search bar here. So let's create another column here. Okay. And then, and then over here, you are going to find the search option. So you're going to be able to create a search option for your site. Okay, so for this one, let me go and stretch it a little bit. Let's make it full just for now so we can see it better. Okay, 
and we can put some padding there in as well, more settings, padding to the right and padding to the left. Good. And then here you have again full control over your styling options. Let me just click on it so you can see how it will look. You've got a border there, you've got your button there, and your button has all the normal styling options for your button. You have your border, take it away. You can have it at no fill. Then you just have to go and change those colors. And you can change everything like you would with your button, like usual. And this will activate your search. And then over here, you have the same functions. You have a classic style, and then you have a minimal style that will take the button away, which means you type in and you press enter, return on your keyboard, and it will complete the search for you. So in this case, typically, you know, I like to make the search a little bit smaller. I wonder if I can change search to find some. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Okay, find me. Right, so you can have full control over the text that you place in there. I wonder if I can remove all of that. Let's see. Delete, delete. Oh, okay. So that's it. You can even delete that. Great. And that is the minimal style. So we don't need much to play around here. Just want to see if I reduce. Yes. If I want to reduce the height of it, I can reduce the size a little bit. Nah, not much. And let's go over here. So we have our normal color controls. Let's see. Ah, here. I was wondering about the height. There we go. So we've got height here. Minimum 50. Let me just type in the 40 to see if I can force it to 40. No, it's 50 minimum. And then you have their control over the width and then alignment like that. Let's update it and let's just preview it on the front end. Front end we go. Let me see what is on this page or on this site. Vegan. Okay. Where are we? Are we search vegan. And there we go. Oh. It's always nice when something works and you can breathe in and breathe out. Right. So five features we looked at. We looked at the maintenance mode and then the new sideboard docking, sidebar docking and locking features, two features that I'm very impressed with. The audio element. I'm not big much of an audio element user, but I can think if you have something, you know, I know sometimes people put speeches here or announcements. Or if you have a podcast, definitely the fact that you can do your upload, your custom upload now, very nice. And then, of course, my favorite, actually, even though it doesn't add any new functionality, is the fact that I can now have this options appear either at the top or if I click here at the top, it will appear at the bottom. That's very nice. And then you have your search element. There's a lot. There's a lot more. I just showed you these guys over here. So you have rating, you have comments, playlists, and this is a video playlist with YouTube and Vimeo. Yes, a full playlist element, search, which we looked at, timeline, and switcher. Mm, and the switcher works just perfectly the Brizzy way. And then the updated and uh, steroid in boosted audio element, and then video has new features, and there are also new features to the tabs and accordions, allowing you... Uh, no, I'm not going to show you now. We can do it in another video. Good. So a quick off the cuff on this Sunday. See you in the next video. JP signing off. Hope you have a nice day.